Alright, hey, it's Jasmine, and right now it's Thursday, Hip Hop Hope, and today's Valentine's Day. So me and Hillary, we're doing ladies' night for Valentine's Day. Right now we have bags of candy for all the kids, and we also have um, CDs, mixtapes that we're going to give out. It's a lot of um, Christian hip hop, songs about love, about Christ's love, as well as what love looks like in a relationship. Um, right here we have our prizes for tonight. We're going to do some games. And um, basically what we're trying to do is to really show the kids that the world shows you that love is teddy bears and candy and being in a relationship, but we're going to really try to show them Christ's love. Now I learned to say the truth, suffering through the years. God is real, God is love, and he don't waste no tears. That no matter what you came from, no matter what you've done, or if a single stone stop to show compassion and love, Jesus wants you to know you're so important to him. You're worth his life, and he don't care how far that you fall in there. That's the beginning. You I keep my eyes to the hills from which comes my help. He will use what you go through to help situations of others. He's heard you. It's the day of salvation. Yeah. Get up there, dance. Come on. My girl's back there in the corner. That's, that's my wife. That's my wife Pam. For you all who don't know her, Pam and I have been married 37 years. A long time. I, I probably got I probably got the uh, lid on that one for anybody around here. Trey, you've been married what a year? Uh, three, almost three. three. Almost three years. See, I got 37. I got a few more on him than that. Yeah. And you know, there's a reason why we've stayed married so long. Because I can't find anybody else that'll take me. Oh no, that's not true. No, it's because it's because we do one thing. We make God the center of our home. See, when you when you put God first, when you put God first, your relationship with your friend, your boyfriend, your girlfriend will work out great if God's the center of it. If God's the one you're living for. Because you can't help but grow together if you're growing towards God, right? If you're all going to the same place, you can't help but grow together. So listen, we're gonna do something a little different for the for the meal tonight. We're going to ask all the ladies to go in to the to the dining hall, to the fellowship hall, take a chair with you just in case there's not enough in there. There may be, but take one with you anyway, please. And you ladies go sit down and then just relax. And the boys are going to serve the girls. So all of you boys, all of you boys, just stay out here. You, you boys ain't going nowhere. Just stay out here. All the girls. We didn't do this to punish you. We did this to teach you. How you're supposed to treat a lady. See, he's learning already. That's very good. That's very good. See, I dressed up because I want my wife to know that I care enough about her to get dressed up and do something special for her. See, I could I could have skipped Hip Hop Hope tonight, taken her out to a fancy restaurant. That's right. But I said, no, we're doing a banquet at Hip Hop Hope for all the ladies, and I want you to come and be part of it. And she said, okay, I'll do that. She doesn't get to come out here very often because she works late, but she came out here tonight. And so this is our time together. I want my wife to know that I love her so much. Even after 37 years of marriage, I would do it all over again. Mm. And that's the way, that's the way you're supposed to treat ladies, guys. That's the way you treat ladies. With the respect and with the love. Whether they're your girlfriend or not, that's just the way you treat women, right? Right? That's just the way you do it. You don't, you don't, 
brag on them, you don't fish on them, you just you just treat them right. With respect. Okay? I'm third chair. How does it feel to be served? It feels like I have made. It's not served. Oh, you ain't served yet. Huh? How's it feel to be served? How's it feel to serve? Great. It's actually running over. It's on the ground. Oh, uh, put it in the hat. Put it in the hat. G. Davis has it. Serve it, Margarita. I did it. How's it feel to serve? No. So find somebody who needs a plate. Right there, right there. You serve? They need drinks. We're gonna drink. They need drinks. Serving? How's it feel to serve? Uh, oh, it feels good. <laughs> All right.